What's up guys, this is Russ with Joe's Gaming and Electronics, here with another highly requested video. If you think this repair is too difficult, you can always send the unit in for repair. Today I will be showing you guys how to replace the screen on a Series 2 42mm Apple Watch. So let's get right into it. So we got a vise here. Go ahead and put the Apple Watch into a vise, just to secure it a little bit so it don't move whenever you try to take the screen apart. Don't tighten it too much because you can make the screen crack just by bending the housing a little bit. So just just snug so it don't move. Just take a heat gun and just go around the edges. Don't apply too much heat because it can definitely do some damage to the screen and the internals of the watch. So just five or six times around fast and quick. Should be good with the heat. Take the, it's a very thin tool, which you can pry open the screen with so you don't damage anything. So you can pretty much get these anywhere. I usually start where the crown's at. Go, go into it there like so. When it's all heated up, it should be really nice and easy to go into. So don't push all the way down because you could damage the force touch sensor. So just apply a little bit of pressure and start going around. Don't go too deep inside because you can damage the internals of the watch. So just go around. I like to get about halfway and then add some more heat to the unit just to the rest of the half. Just so it's nice, nice and warm. Go ahead and work your way around now. Take your time, no, no rush with this repair. It'll say that the temperature is too hot because obviously you're using some heat, so don't don't worry too much about that. Go ahead and pry it open a little bit. Don't pull too hard because it will damage the unit itself. So as that came apart, I usually unscrew, unscrew the vise, take out the unit, got the unit here. I go ahead and loosen these three pins. And then I take this nice tool here it's kind of a very, it's a grip tool where you can get into small things. So there's gonna be this like plastic cover. This, it's like a film that's covering each point so they're all aligned. So I like to take it apart or pull it up a little bit. Sometimes they try to fall back down. Let's go ahead and lift him back up. And do not remove that plastic piece. It is what holds the whole screen together and aligns the screen so the points fit nicely. So you get no errors on the watch. So go up a little bit. Don't go up too much because you can definitely break these off the old screen, the three contact points. So now just pull them each nicely like that. Go ahead and set the screen aside. Go ahead and pick these up. I usually look around to see if there's any, any like excess residue on the side. I like to really clean it up because then the screen will fit very nicely. So let's go ahead, get the screen. It's easier when it's when it's sitting down. So start from one point and work your way down. Go ahead and put the 
Put the tape back onto the three points. This is being a little difficult. And that should be good. And then let's go ahead and get B7000. I usually start at the edge where the ribbon connects to the board. Let's go ahead and apply that B7000. Pretty good layer. Try to fill in the, the gap that is there. Just so it's all nice and waterproof, water resistant. Trying to make it as, as legit as possible. Work your way around. Don't be afraid if you get some glue on the housing because this stuff removes very nicely. So go ahead and close it. Go ahead and apply the screen onto the unit. And make sure to look to see if there's a nice, there's, there's a nice flat gap on each end of the watch. And what I like to do is I like to get a rubber band, pretty nice rubber band, which will hold the unit in place. So I like to go opposite of the buttons so it doesn't mess anything up. So just make two or three rounds, which will then hold the screen together and let it dry to about two to three hours. It takes a good amount of time for it to dry. So it's fully water resistant. And that is how you replace a screen on a series 42 millimeter Apple Watch. If you need any of the parts, it's all linked in the description. Thanks for watching guys.